Hi everyone, I'm Jesse and in this video I'm going to create this score where you can change the value, the icon image and uh, make it react when the value change. So, let's start by creating an adboard with dimensions 140 and 40. I'm going to call this adboard score and remove the uh, background. Now I'm going to add uh, this main layout and color score. And because it's set up as a fill fill, automatically adapts to any adboard size. Now let's create the base structure. I'm going to remove the background and add two child's layout. One for the value and another for the icon. For the icon layout, because I already have the icon uh, with dimension 50-50, I'm going to configure it as an absolute. And I'm going to center using these position values. Now we have this layout for the value and this absolute for the icon. The next step is to add the text for the value and nest it to the score layout. So the idea is move the text to the center right with a separation from the edge. To achieve that, we're going to wrap the text in another layout, remove the absolute option, and now use the father layout to center the text in the position I want, and add padding. Now I can use this layout to add the background, so I'm going to Add a color and round corner. Now let's add the uh, icon. Here in the assets panel, you can see the different icons I have. I'm going to use the star for now. Drag and drop here. And move it to the icon layout. Now you can see that the score box shows through this side of the star. To fix this, I'm going to add a new layout from the main, move it between the value and the icon, and change to uh, fix it with 20 pixels for width, which is half of the space. This way, the background color ends here, and this side of the star remain free. Now it's time for data binding to access to the different values we want. First, I'm going to create a view model and I'm going to call it score. And add this view model to that board. This step is very important. Without this, the data binding doesn't work. Now, because we want to uh, control this value, what we need is a number property. So you're going to add a number property and name it score value. And because this value is uh, absolute, what we need is add a converter, in this case, convert to string, two round decimals and remove trading zeros. The other thing I want is each time that the value changes, I want the number increase or decrease. For that, I'm going to add another converter, in this case interpolator, with time and a curve here. And because I want to use these two converters with the same property, I'm going to add a group. So here in this group, I'm going to add the different converters. The first one is convert to string, and the second one is the interpolator. 
And you can see that we have this alert here. This doesn't mean that the order of the converter is wrong. So I'm going to move this the interpolator here. And that's it. The last thing we need is connect the text to this property. For that, I'm going to select the text run here. And using the right click, I can add the property, in this case the score value, and the converter that in, in this case is the group. And you can see that this box is green, that means everything is okay. Now, when we play the machine and select the view model, we can change the value. And you can see that the number increase or decrease to the new value. Okay, now the next step is make the star react to each change of the value. For this, we need a reaction animation, something simple uh, for this case something like a bounce. And we can use this absolute layout to move the icon. So I'm going to create an animation. I'm going to call it idle. And key the outer position of the layout. And add a new animation, React, where I'm going to create the bounce animation. So I'm going to keep the same position of the layout. And here I'm going to move this something like this. And from the end, I'm going to copy the first key and paste here. And another thing I'm going to do is add some interpolation, the first one something like this, so I start fast and for the second key I'm going to use the elastic interpolation to create the bouncing effect. Now in the steam machine I'm going to add this React animation and connect to the idle in both directions. And to be able to go from idle to React, what it need is that the value, in this case, the score value, need to be uh, different to himself. And to go back, what you need is at exit time, 100%. That means when the animation finishes, go back to the idle. Now, when we play the machine and we change the value, the start react. To finish, we're going to add a property to change the icon image. For that, I'm going to add to the view model the property image. I'm going to rename icon and to bind this property what you need is select the image and in the inspector bind with the property. Now when we play this machine you can see that the star disappear and this is because the view model doesn't have any image assigned. But here we can access to the different image we have in the asset panel. Or we can add any image dynamically. And that's it. We have created a completely dynamic score component that adapts to any size, react to the data chains, and allows us to uh, change both the value and the icon.